So Annie says she wanted more of me talking on my videos. So I'm gonna take you on a little trip down here. I hope you can hear me because it's very windy. Not really windy, but the ocean is right there. So anyway, there's Prim. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna walk down this way. Probably sunny earlier, and so I I uh, walked right down here and I went and I stood in the we actually have a beach right now at low tide. And uh, anyway, I went in, I had my shorts on, and I went up to my my knees anyway in the water. And the water was really nice. And then I came in and I sat down in my chair and I opened up my book. I was going to read a little bit. And it started raining. So, so weird. Anyway, so I stayed inside for quite some time while it was raining. Where's my toes? Do -do -do -do. Anything? Oh no, never. There's somebody built a, a nice little rock cairn right here. Oops. Yeah. So it's very rocky along here, and then at low tide, it gets real, this nice sand area. It's real cool. So the water goes all the way up to that sand there. Crazy. But um, uh, now I'm rubbing the sand floor. rocks that are these are all totally underwater during high tide. You can see how crazy they are. Look at that. It just goes on and on and on. Check this out. It's all all furry. <laughs> if you like. Yeah anyway, I woke up this morning just at sunrise which is very unusual for me. <laughs> And uh, it was all clear and, and just some fluffy clouds up in the sky. There's a really pretty one up there. And uh, it was nice, but and then <laughs> those clouds rolled in and they rolled back out. And I don't know. So and, uh, I'm really, really enjoying it here. There's nothing here, as you can see, up at the campsites up there. There's not even a, a porta potty. It's just just these uh, asphalt slabs. For some weird reason, we had this big clump of people. But next, the other side of me, there's nobody. So it's funny. But they said that on the weekend it'll all uh, fill in because it gets busy on the weekends here. But right now it's all it's a state park, but um, it's uh, all first come first serve. So. All this is like all underwater. I can't even imagine like, ooh, look at the high tide and let's go boogie boarding and all these rocks are just directly underneath you. It's like, eh, not a good idea. No. Door and my neighbor goes, um, they're gonna chew a hole in that screen to get to whatever it is that's inside. I went, no way, and I chased him off and he closed my door. So it's pretty crazy. Of, of critters in this. There's typos. There's tons of muscles on everything. See that? This is all completely underwater in about two hours. It'll be in all of the water. It's so crazy. But it's just beautiful now. I can't believe it was raining pretty hard about half an hour ago. And now it's all, all clear again. It's crazy. Interesting that washed up. Look how covered in muscles these rocks are out here. Isn't that wild? There's a big anemone right there. Can you see it? 
touch it because I think it's like rose. Remember we used to stick sticks in those and they go squirt and all the all the water would come out. Close up around it. Oh, there's a poor one over there that's been left out to the sun. No, we'll get underwater soon enough. There's a bunch of them. At night you can see on, on the horizon the big oil rigs that are way out there in the on the horizon. They just glow in the dark. It's really neat at night to see that. My, that's my tour of the beach here. Open up high so you can see behind me. There's, there's all my all the RVs up there. Ooh, right. There's Prim and my bed sticking out and winky eye because it's really bright. <laughs> but anyway, having a great time. I'm going to be home soon. Bye.